What's going on guys, Nazem here. Welcome back to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers. I unbox them, review them, give my first impressions, and after that, I show them off on feet. Today, I'm gonna be checking out a shoe that did very well for my channel, at least. Um, I was surprised by how many views it got. The Adidas Oz Novas. Now, this gray colorway right here, this is probably one of my favorite gray pairs of shoes that I have, and I only have two right now. I still gotta get my new balances because they have pretty much the best gray color. There were so many comments on this shoe alone of what I thought of it and where's the four view, where's the four view, how do they, how have they held up? And I'm like, all right, fine, I'll go ahead and make the video on it. So I ended up getting this colorway and I also got the black one. So the black one right here, I have not worn this pair of shoe, but maybe like five times. This pair of shoe I've worn a little bit more but I just don't wear them as much anymore. Mainly because the other pairs of shoes that I have are even comfier than these ones. These do feel really well. I must say though, they're very bulky and that's one of the biggest issues with them. They run $130 currently uh, at retail, but they are always discounted. I don't even know if you can get this colorway anymore. You may still be able to. Adidas has made more colors for this one. Uh, they kind of just Put it through rotation kind of like they do with the oswego lineup this all black one is actually going i think for like 60 dollars right now so i mean if you want to grab it i definitely say go for it i will say though they are a very flat type of shoe and what i mean by that is look how flat it is so like there is no motion when you're walking it's just boom 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 they're pre they're pretty flat i actually wore this one to the amusement park although i got a lot of looks when I was wearing the shoe. I got a lot of looks when I was wearing them. The biggest issue was that my feet, oh my goodness, they were actually hurting because they're so flat. Like I'm used to kind of moving. I, I walk faster than pretty much half the people around this world. Um, I'm a very fast walker and I promise you, if you saw me walk, you'd be like, what in the world is wrong with you? I had to actually walk slightly differently when I was wearing these shoes because of how the flat footed they are. Uh, it is true to size, I will say that. I got these in a 10 and a half and they fit pretty much perfectly fine. I do like the color though. The color looks nice. I like what they did with the style, especially of the gray one. The black one, I really, I do like the black one. I just don't wear it as much because I have a lot of black pairs of shoes now. And those ones are not the first ones that I go to when I wanna wear a black shoe. Now, if you look at the bottom here, yeah, they've held up okay. I've tried cleaning the bottom of this off and they still won't get clean. So I'm kind of just stuck with a dirty sole and I cannot stand when I see a dirty sole like that. That's really why I like when they have black soles, but I get what they did. They wanted to go with the all gray colorway and that's what they did. Everything's all gray. The Addy Preen is comfortable. I will say they are pretty comfy. Now, when I do have them on my feet, I will say that they're a great casual pair of shoes if you're not going to do anything extravagant. <laughs> I can't remember how much that I bought these for, but like I said, the build quality, they are pretty nice. They're solid. They do have this nice leather. I don't think it's synthetic leather either. I think it's actual real leather. They have nice little reflections on the side here. They're not waterproof at all. I haven't worn these in a rain and I don't ever plan on to. As you can see in the back there though, there is like a tad bit of a deformity, maybe not deformity, but you can just see kind of where it was connecting together. It's not bad or anything. Sometimes it just happens with shoes where like the glue or whatever, it's not separating or anything. You can just tell there's a slight deformity there. But I will say on a cold day, I love wearing these shoes because they get very hot. Uh, they do not wick away any sweat at all. Um, They're pretty warm. They're, they'll keep your feet pretty toasty. And like I said, they're a great winter type of shoes. So when fall starts to come around, I probably will start wearing these ones again. It's just, I can't wear these during the heat though, man. These things get hot. I don't know if I would recommend them because you could get a pair of New Balances and be good to go, 990s, you already know. Um, 2002 R's, I really wanna get a pair of those. I tried those on at Foot Locker and I was blown away by the comfort on those. Um, personally, I think those New Balances are definitely better than these ones. And for the price, because these retail 120 and you can probably get a pair of 990s for around a similar price, they can be pretty high. New Balances aren't cheap. They are not cheap at all. I think New Balances knows their audience and that people are willing to pay that price, that $200 price, 150 uh, for their shoes because they're nice shoes. So I don't know if I would technically recommend this one, but I will say I do like the style of the shoe. It's not very common. It kind of makes me think of like a Air Max lineup, but there's no air bubbles. 
because really there could be little air bubbles right there. I, obviously, it's patented by Nike, but it would be cool if like they had little air bubbles right there. I like what they did. Um, the little adiprene showing the adiprene foam. I think that's nice, but it'd be cool to see like clear bubbles through there. I'm just saying. The Oz Nova line is still doing well. They actually used to have like a glow in the dark version, but I hated that colorway. Um, that's why I went with the all gray and then the all black colorway. So I'd say if you're looking for something different, something that still has comfort, more of a casual type of shoe, then go for it. The price, like I said, they discount this one a lot. Like during Black Friday, this thing was super cheap. So I definitely recommend you all check it out. Let me know what you think of this pair of shoe, if you have them or if you plan on getting them. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace out.